Graffiti step four, embellishing your graffiti um, name designs, one of your choices to make your final version. So here are some of my examples that we went through yesterday. Um, I just wanna review how to do the 3D effect by picking a so two sides of each letter and starting with the edges of, in my case, the left and the bottom sides. Do the same little short angle lines and then connect those lines with a parallel curve or straight line that matches the edge in front of it on the letter. Make sure that you're always doing the same edges, the left or the bottom or the right or the top. So once you're done, um, first of all, you should be doing it in pencil and then going over your pencil once it looks correct with Sharpie marker using a smooth line and coloring it in nice and carefully so that it's solid and it doesn't make the letters look all jaggedy and messy because craftsmanship is going to be part of your grade on this assignment. So you have the choice of using your Sharpie marker or you could use colored pencil to do the 3D effect. I would definitely use your Sharpie marker to at least do the outlines of your letters and your um, embellishments though. So there you have the 3D effect. Now I'm showing you how you can create kind of a sense of a cloud around your letter or a border per se that allows you to maybe kind of create a really nice bright color behind it. You can add a pattern inside of this border or around this border as you see that I'm doing here just to kind of spruce it up and add more detail. Now I'm adding some embellishment details on the inside of the letter and on the outside border. I'm coloring it in, making sure when you color that you color in a nice even fashion so that the color doesn't look all stripy. You want it to look nice and solid and smooth. Um, as you're coloring, my suggestion would be to hold like the middle of your pencil more at an angle than you would normally write with. That will wear down a nice little flat spot on your pencil and make it easier to um, color evenly. And you also want to color in your letters thinking of um, Kind of a graffiti style which graffiti artists tend to use really bright bold colors and remember you find bright bold colors on opposite ends of the color wheel so if you're picking a color that's further away from another color on the color wheel they they will visually stand out more and make your artwork look brighter and more colorful so that's kind of how you want to think with the colors that you're choosing to add to your design. Um, on this design, I'm showing you how to just kind of create a pattern of color going around similar to the one underneath it with a border or a bubble around your letters. So it's just another idea just to give you different ideas that you might want to consider. And this time when I'm coloring in these letters, I'm going to color them in so that they appear three-dimensional in just the way that I'm coloring with a gradient. So basically what I'm doing is I'm coloring the 
outside edges pressing hard and then as I go towards the middle of the letter I'm releasing my pressure and until it leaves the middle a little lighter than the outside edges. It's not an outline, it's actually a fade from both sides into the middle. And it gives kind of like a rounded 3D appearance when you finish that. So those are a couple ideas. I have other designs that I was working on before that you were seeing that had some um, different effects and ideas also. So good luck and um, the next step is to finish your design from what you um, selected of your three to complete with color and different patterns with some of the ideas you've seen. I'll um, show you some pictures of my designs that I finish in your Google Classroom assignment. Good luck!